the Wind Ranger, but uh, uh, Yoragi bringing out the carry Wind Ranger. As uh, the panel already talked about, we this is not something new, this, but it's obviously maybe not something they were potentially DMs expecting. Getting blood on the death here. Yeah, DM's dead. All right. <laughs> oh, that's two one blood grenades. It's already a uh, it's snowballing laning state. That could just shut down the tiny because it's a domino effect. Rolling Thunder to two. The haste rune is also there. Nine's gonna steal this one too. So BZM, no action rune for a total of uh, two minutes now. Two will drop, but a big combo comes out as well. Skitter with a time dilation. Aramis will oh, finish him. off Soxa. Got him. So he looks for the deny bounty battle with Aramis is snaking. Oh, and there's our top lane RP. Yep, two to drop. Another kill for Tundra up to six now. Yeah, Nine Yuragi. is also rotated. Maybe Yuragi does oh. potentially drop here too. Swashbuckle only one connection though. Around. Damage out with that Babylon, but here comes Skinner. And there's nothing to interrupt this Chrono. So they will get Yuragi. Aramis charging in. Charges into the rolling thunder of nine. Easy and oh, that's your tiny dead as well. So you're going to lose both big cores. Find farm on the map, but you're just getting picked off. Thunderous heroes are much better at finding you on the map now. The RP is... Yeah, you can say it's a big cooldown, but it's back in one minute here. Found the Pango here, and All into right. the Veen script he goes. That's a big one here. Got a shield also rune. stunned up by Yuragi, but the shield rune has been popped and activated. It's oh, not going to be enough, though. And the kill is going to take place. Some mines drop down as well to get themselves these kills, but not going to happen. Just not enough damage. Even the Faces Void's going to get caught here, but Chu, does he have the range for the Nightmare? No, he doesn't, so it's just going to be Soxa in the middle. Aramis gets blown <laughs> up, walks into the minefield. Sadly, it's just that one only mine that you stepped on. They have, they have really good vision in this area. Like Maybe. that sentry has been placed down before the orbs was put down, so they can see them back and away. But how does this fight start? They put the nightmare fiend script onto the skinner. Perfect start for the battle, and that's your carry out of the game. Rolling Thunder, though. They got Chu, he's pretty much used everything, so he's happy to fall here, but he's making them pay for it as long as possible. DM unable to help him out there. There is Aramis. Nine. Got a couple of pokes out here. The Magnus being controlled for the time being. RP is there, and he's going to get the connection. That socks up with the Mortimer's Kisses. He did get one connection, but that's all they needed. And that's all she wrote. I think he might be dead. The snaking hits for 113 damage, thanks to Universal Hero. And he'll get the game. Yeah. I think we got like six or seven Universal Heroes in this game as well, so expect a lot of right clicking this game. Snaking to drop next. Sox is still being chased up. 33, no RP, but he's got some heavy hits. He's trying to break through Aramis and that shield. Still on the chase, skewering him down. We'll finish off the kill. Sox to drop as well. BZM though, tossing out this Magnus. Echo Saber and the Vanguard plus the Seeds of Serenity. Well, it's not a lot of extra regen, but it's enough to keep OG at bay. A, a vanguard harpoon rush. Trying to catch Chu, but uh, it's, it's proving to be a bit difficult here. Cookie finally to connect on top of Chu. DM. Oh, the back wall on three. Naragi here as well. Does get the, the shackle shot. And also the focus fire onto 33. He's going to be very durable though. Naragi would like to target him above anything else, but Darkseer in trouble. BCM interrupting the back line as well. They're gonna take down the techies and they will take that nice courier as well inside. That's a little bit of a prize too. They still got Chrono. The Uragi already dead. Two to be following out as well. And 33 still alive after everything that's happened. Another tournament into Roshan. Pretty much getting every single objective in the game right now. Already pressing out the wave under the tier two tower. And OG just just trying to split and find farm around the map. There's so many items in here. Too much. Still a charge. Whoopsie. Uh, let's see if this one though. works out. I mean, there's a chance here. Fiend grip onto the Pango. Nine's going to be the target skinner. Looking for two. Maybe we'll find him as well. Sackle Shot does connect on two for 33, pushing them away from the fight. Nine's already down, and Tiny is about to drop as well, so BZM to drop two. And Aramis gonna get healed up in the air. Naragi still has Focus Fire available. Is it onto Skinner this time? Oh, he's just gonna oh, finish he missed off the RP. Fire. RP missed, though. So this does give a bit of an a bit of an avenue. Nicely used Glyph here as well, the same time as the Chrono does get dropped. And then we go for the Nether Strike to slow down Skinner. Just a bit of extra. Rogi gets to stand his ground and Chu, he has been spotted, but he pulls them all together. Can they make it work here? Just not enough damage. 
Their openings are so limited here, and Tundra, despite the situation, they will continue to find a victory. That Aegis remains on the face of Floyd, so they finish off the rain tracks. Oh, the oh. Arkham play did miss their act. Five man back. Yeah, surge too to strong, it. I guess. With the Rolling Thunder onto the high ground, and DM got in the middle of it. So is Aramis with the Nether Strike. Will be targeted down. Chu going to be chased up by 33. They finish off Juragi. And OG just dropping one after the other. This is definitely a very uh, vice versa game from game number yeah, one, where uh, OG might have dominated, but this one totally in Tundra's.